So we just picked up some Super Nintendo games. Some of them are loose and some of them are complete or what appears to be complete. I'm heading to kind of a pre-garage sale. Uh, I messaged somebody on Facebook earlier today or yesterday and I asked them if they had any video games or Legos and they said they had some Legos uh, and they wanted 150 bucks for them. I'm driving 45 minutes each way to go buy these Legos. It looks like Star Wars stuff and there's two big tubs. So it's kind of a risk. I don't really know what's in there, but I always find it fun to dig through the Legos and get the uh, minifigures out and sell those separately and then sell the rest of the pieces just in a big lot on Facebook. So we're gonna go see what they got. They also had some Funko Pops in the picture and I'm gonna take a look at those. I'm not very familiar with Funkos. It seems like anytime I get them, they're like 10 bucks free shipping, 15 bucks free shipping. So never anything special, but I might try to look a few up or um, you know, I take a chance if they're priced really cheap. Either way, I think I'm gonna get to look around this garage sale, which is kind of exciting because they have Legos and they have Funko Pops. So they didn't say that they had video games, but you never know once I get there and start talking to them a little bit. And also maybe I could find some other stuff there to, to buy. So let's go take a look. I'm not gonna take any footage while I'm there because I don't have a camera for it. But when I get back, we will take a look at what I got. Uh, we'll take a look at the Super Nintendo games that I got, which if you already watched my short, you probably have an idea of what those are. And then we'll take a look at the Legos and everything I got at the garage sale. So Okay, so we just got the Legos and we got a tub of Funko Pops and we got a PSP with games all for 220 bucks. The Legos look like they're gonna be awesome. There's so much stuff in there. There's looks to be a lot of minifigures and like dinosaur minifigures and other animal minifigures. So I'm really excited about this. The PSP, I'm not sure about all the games, but it was 20 bucks. And then the tub of Funkos, again, a lot of them are loose. I don't know anything about them, but there's probably like 50 of them in there. And I got them for 50 bucks. There's like a job of the hut in there. There's a Rancor from Star Wars. They gotta be decent at 50 bucks. And then, now somebody else gave me their address to go pick up some games for their garage sale tomorrow and i'm going there now it's about 10 minutes away and then i think i should be done for the day but this is this is already an awesome start to the garage sale weekend i just went and got a n64 with probably like six games maybe eight a ps1 with maybe like eight games um, some notable games in there i think clock tower is in there which is a very valuable game i saw resident evil um Abe's Exodus, and I think those are really the notable games. There was a Mario Golf with the N64, but I paid 125 for all that stuff. So I think in total, we're in for just over $500 today. Awesome day today, I'm really excited. It's gonna take a lot of work with the Legos to sift through them and sell them individually, but it's gonna be worth it, I think. So I will see you when we get home. Okay, so we are back from garage sales from Friday. It is Sunday afternoon, and we're gonna go over everything that we got. It is the Funkos, the complete in box Super Nintendo games, the Nintendo 64, the Legos, everything that we got on Sunday. So let's jump into the Funkos first. So I don't know a ton about Funkos, but these are all of them that we got for 50 bucks. So I can name off a few because I am familiar with them, but we've got Rancor here from Star Wars. We've got Jabba the Hutt here from Star Wars. Wampa, we've got, I think Thor and um, Thanos. I believe. And then we've got a couple other things in here that I'm familiar with. We got Boba Fett and Darth Vader. So while I was going over the Funkos, we did not know that Darth Vader had a uh, noise making ability, but let's press him down and see what he does. All right, that's pretty cool. I did not, not know that we could get him to breathe and do lightsaber noises, so that's awesome. Vader, Kylo Ren. A lot of them are loose. Obviously, that's going to drop the value. And again, I don't know what's valuable and what isn't. I would assume that the larger ones are valuable, but we'll just have to see when I look them up and decide what to do with them. They might be Facebook sales, though, because most of them are loose and I don't know how good a condition they're in. So we've got a couple of boxed ones down here. We've got Pam Beasley from The Office, BB-8 from Star Wars, Kevin Malone from The Office, and then Dustin from Stranger Things, it looks like. I'm not familiar with that. And then a Hot Tamales, but... Uh, that's it for the Funkos. Again, we paid 50 bucks for them. So pretty good deal, I think, for all those. Even if I only sell them for a few bucks on Facebook each, that's probably going to be $100 in profit at the very least. So next up, we've got the Super Nintendo games that we got. We've got the complete in-box Super Nintendo cleaning kit. This doesn't look like it's been used at all, and the box is in excellent shape. So that is awesome. We have Tetris 2 complete in-box. Again, excellent shape box. Donkey Kong Country complete in box, which is awesome. And then we have Donkey Kong Country 3 
This is just the box and then the Donkey Kong Country 2 car cartridges in there. So it's a little bit disappointing, but not too bad. Um, maybe I might just wait till I find a DK3 to put in here. But this was all from a lady who was having a garage sale on Saturday. And she told me I could come early for Friday and get these games. And then I also got a few loose cartridges from her. Nothing too crazy, but we got Super Mario World in here and Mario Paint. So I got all of this for $120, all the Super Nintendo games. So awesome deal there. And then um, we're gonna move down to the next pre-garage sale we went on Friday. Somebody had messaged me and said, hey, I have some video games. They were getting back to me from a previous message. And they said, hey, somebody brought video games here. Um, do you wanna come look at them? And I was in the area. So I went there and they had a PS1 with controllers and some games. And we'll get to the games in a second. But then they had a Nintendo 64, two controllers and some games here. The Nintendo 64, the most notable being Mario Golf and they wanted 125 bucks for everything so awesome score the biggest game in here is clock tower 2. i actually was not aware that this was really in the box when i bought it um this is like a 400 hundred dollar game so basically my buy cost on this would be about five dollars if you kind of allocate it out uh another notable game in here would be resident evil 2 uh probably about 30 to 40 bucks so awesome game in there the rest are more filler titles but some, some okay stuff. So all of the games and systems for $125. What an awesome, awesome find at a garage sale, especially because Clock Tower 2 is in there. So awesome. So we are gonna get table two set up. We are going to include some PSP stuff that we got and then some Legos. And then that should wrap up everything that we got at the garage sale. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got table two set up here. All of the stuff on the table is the same sale that I got the Funko Pops at. So we've got two huge tubs of Legos for $150. I already went through and sorted out all of the minifigures and animals and different pieces that might be valuable. It took me probably three hours to, to do that, but we've got a Indominus Rex here, which I believe is worth about $60 complete, and he is complete. So awesome to find that in here. And then we've got the two freezer bags full of many figures and animals. So you can see there's a Hulk in there. There's a Wampa from Star Wars. There's some other dinosaurs like a Velociraptor, I think somewhere, Harry Potter, and then another bag here full of many figures. So the way I like to do big tubs of Legos is buy the tubs, pull out the mini figures and the little um, accessories that might be valuable, and then sell off all the excess Legos on Facebook for about $3 a pound or so. So I might be able to get about a hundred bucks for these tubs and then try to make minifigures complete and sell them off on eBay. So um, one thing that I'm gonna use to try and make complete minifigures is we have a ton of manuals here and I'm gonna try to look through the manuals and see if I can figure out how to make complete minifigures. It can be time consuming, but it can definitely be worth it. So $150 for all, all the Legos. I'm really excited about the profit potential with the minifigures and the Indominus Rex. So awesome sale for 150 bucks. And then at the same sale, I asked if they had video games and she said, oh, we, we have video games, but they're a little bit older. And I was like, perfect, that, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So she pulled the PSP and all these games and movies out of her trunk and said she wanted 20 bucks for it. The PSP is in awesome condition. Like it is in excellent condition. I already cleaned it up. I haven't tested it, but it looks awesome. And then we have a couple decent, decently valued games here. I think Metal Gear Acid is decent. Um, Mercury might be okay. I don't remember exactly. And then this movie, I think, is about $20. So I'm excited about that. Uh, about half of these are movies, as you can see at the top, where it says UMD Video, and then half of them are games, where it says PSP. So all in all, a great sale to get the PSP stuff, the Legos, and the Funkos for $220 total. I'm going to guess our profit here could be north of $500 from this sale. So awesome sale. Okay, so that is everything from garage sales on Friday afternoon. Awesome sales and fines for Friday afternoon. A lot of that is due to messaging people on Facebook who have garage sale ads up and asking them if they have Legos or video games. So if you're starting to resell, it might be something that you wanna try out. Um, it does take some time. You have to look at Facebook every day leading up to sales, but it's well worth it, especially in this instance. So I think in total, we probably spent about $500. I don't remember the exact math, but around $500. And I think our profit potential here could be around $1,000 from these sales. So really good stuff. 
I'm really happy with the Legos and the minifigures. I do have a time lapse of me sorting through some of them. So I might put that in here at the end of the video right now while I'm doing the last bit of talking. Um, but really happy with the sales. I really appreciate everybody watching. And if you're enjoying the content and the finds and the sales that I'm making, I'd appreciate it if you would like the videos, if you'd subscribe. And then I do have the link to my eBay store in the description if you are interested in anything that you're seeing in the video. Um, but beyond that, again, I really appreciate everybody watching and I will see you on the next one.